If you want to live in a Marin County community that was once ranked in the top 10 of best places to live in the entire United States with great outdoor activities and beautiful scenery, then Mill Valley is a great option for you. And in this video, I'm going to do a deep dive into living in Mill Valley, including some of the great and not so great things about living there and how much it costs. What's up everyone? This is Austin Clark, your lawyer turned real estate agent and real estate developer in San Francisco in Marin County. I've lived in the Bay Area for over a decade, giving me in-depth firsthand experience of the real estate market and lifestyle there. If you're thinking of buying or selling a home in San Francisco or Marin County or want more information about the Bay Area real estate market, definitely reach out to me. My contact information is in the description below. I will personally answer every call, every email, every text, and I'd be more than happy to help you. And if you like videos just like this, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell so you're alerted every single time I post a video. All right, so this video is all about Mill Valley, which is one of the most family-friendly neighborhoods in all of Marin, and it has what I think is the cutest downtown in all of Marin County. It's also one of the closest Marin cities to San Francisco, making it an ideal place to live if you have to commute to the city. Mill Valley is located on the western and northern shores of Richardson Bay on the eastern slopes of Mount Tam. Uh, it's just a few minutes north of the Golden Gate Bridge. It's easily accessible from the 101 freeway. Its location makes it pretty ideal for you know, people looking to escape SF without actually losing access to all the great you know, food, shopping, and sort of the more upbeat atmosphere that SF has compared to Marin. Miller Avenue and East Blydale Avenue are the two main streets in Mill Valley, and they're connected by Camino Alto and Throckmorton Avenues. So those are the streets you're gonna find, you know, the city's restaurants and shops, uh, grocery stores and things like that. The main downtown area, Lighton Square, is at the junction of Miller, East Blydale, and Throckmorton, and it's the main area for shopping and dining in Mill Valley. The area is largely flat and super walkable, and it's a great place to take you know, your kids or dogs or other pets. The downtown area is built into a very ideal, you know, woodsy setting beneath Mount Tam, so there's a ton of incredible old trees surrounding the area. Um, so it has a very kind of secluded and small town vibe. There are some great home goods stores there like Summer House and Prevalent Projects, um, great coffee shops, great restaurants, lots of great options, and it's very open space with a ton of picnic tables, so it's great for outdoor dining and just hanging out outside. Down the street is Mill Valley Lumberyard, which is like a small outdoor mall. Um, there are some big name brands there like Aviator Nation, but there are also more like boutique stores and places to get food and drinks and sit outside. East of the town square are Sycamore Park and Tamil Pies Park. Those are some of the most highly sought after neighborhoods to live in all of Marin, but especially in Mill Valley. And that's because they're so close to downtown. People who live in Mill Valley really value their ability to, you know, either just do a short couple minute drive or even walk to a downtown area with you know, restaurants and shopping. And so the closer to downtown you get, the more expensive homes tend to be as well. From a lifestyle perspective, Mill Valley is kind of a perfect blend of natural beauty and charm with also a younger hip atmosphere. Two streams flow from the slopes of Mount Tam through Mill Valley down to the bay, and there are hundreds of acres of parkland surrounding the city. So it's a really good mix of protected parks and coastal lands. Um, mixed in with suburban living. Weather there is very mild Mediterranean climate. It's ideal for indoor outdoor living, golfing, tennis, biking, hiking, jogging, you name it. There are so many places throughout Mill Valley to do all of those outdoor things. Muirwoods National Monument, Old Mill Park, Mount Tam State Park, Tennessee Valley Trailhead, the Dipsy Trail, you know, all outdoor, you know, municipally protected parks and rec spaces that have amazing hiking, biking and walking and jogging paths. And because the weather is pretty moderate all year round, there's really no bad time to do those things. Mill Valley is also home to several schools that are among some of the best schools, not just in California, but in the nation, which makes it very popular for people who have families or who are looking to start families. Living in Mill Valley is great, but there are some not so great things about living in Mill Valley as well. Because most of the neighborhoods are built into hillsides, a lot of the roads in Mill Valley are very, very narrow and they're very steep. In some places, especially as you get into the hills and toward panoramic highway on the north end of the city the roads get extremely narrow even by the busy parts like near downtown the roads can be extremely narrow so sometimes you have to creep slowly if there's another car coming in the opposite direction or you know one of you has to pull over or back up to find a place to pull over so that you know the cars can easily pass each other it's a little annoying it's one of my least favorite things about driving around in mill valley um, it's especially true when you get behind downtown, when East Blydale turns into West Blydale, or when you get high up into the hills. Um, not all of Mill Valley is like that. There are plenty of areas with open streets and houses not built into hillsides, 
but it is definitely something to be aware of if you're thinking about relocating to Mill Valley. Another not so great thing about living in Mill Valley is the traffic. It seems like there's always construction on East Blythedale or close to downtown. So if you're getting you know, to or from the freeway to Camino Alto or heading to downtown or from downtown, it can be a little frustrating with traffic. A lot of those roads are one lane in each direction. So when construction's going on, one side of the, the highway is blocked, which causes traffic jams. Another negative about living in Mill Valley, like other parts of Marin, there aren't a ton of big businesses in Mill Valley. So there's a good chance that if you live there, you might have to commute to other parts of the Bay, like San Francisco or the South Bay, where a lot of tech and finance and you know law firms are based. Mill Valley is not far from the Golden Gate Bridge, but if you don't want to drive, you know you can take the ferry. There is no ferry stop in Mill Valley, but a lot of residents there go to either Larkspur or Sausalito and catch the ferry from one of those locations. So how much does it cost to live in Mill Valley since uh, the beginning of 2022 to the beginning of May 2023 when I'm filming this video, 382 single family homes have sold for an average of $2.68 million. And they've sold relatively quickly with about 21 days on the market. And that's compared to an average of $2.24 million in all of Marin. Uh, over that same time period and an average of about 24 days on market. So things tend to sell for a little bit more and in less time in Mill Valley than they do on, in Marin on average. Well, that's the scoop on Mill Valley. There are so many other great and some more not so great things about living in Mill Valley. If you're thinking about relocating or want more information about the Mill Valley real estate market, definitely reach out to me. My contact info is in the description below. I will personally answer every call, every email, every text, and I'd be more than happy to help you. And if you like videos just like this, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell so you're alerted every single time I post a video.